So, we have news going around. I'm going to say this. I'm going to just point, point this out right now. If Isak Cruz not, don't fight a, a top 35 next fight, I don't want to see bro no more. I'm going to be real. I don't want to see him no more. Because if anybody else was doing stuff like this, what they got going on, I know PVC trying to have him be uh some kind of golden child or something like this is uh Eddie Murphy movie or something, bro. Look, listen, if Isak Cruz don't fight a top thirty five pounder, and he he coming off a tank fight two or three years ago, we got I got a, I got a, I got an issue. I got an issue. I got an issue. I got an issue. Cause he was already supposed to fight Shakur. I got an issue. See, Shakira was supposed to fight him and Lomachenko. And those fights ain't happening yet. And that's why I can't entertain it, because it's like Shakira say, well, you know, Lomachenko ain't fighting, and Isa Cruz ain't fight. But Frank Martin, he a duck. Nah, bro, I'm not finna do that, bro. I'm not finna do that. I put that video out months ago. <clears throat> you can look at my first video. My first video was about uh, Frank Martin and uh, Lomachenko, or Esau Cruz, no, Esau Cruz. I was talking about the Esau Cruz thing when Cabrera almost beat him. And then I was talking about the Frank Martin thing, about how he's fighting a guy on PEDs, and now he got to turn around and fight with Chris Stevenson. Disgusting. Frank Martin got to fight a guy on PEDs, and he don't, and he can't get an extra couple of months of rest? If you say, nah, the money ain't worth it, man, I'm going to go ahead and wait. He a duck? What Esau Cruz do? Oh, he, oh, he beat Gamboa. <sighs> oh, man. He beat Gamboa six, seven, eight years after Terry Crawford and beat Gamboa. And he beat Gamboa after Gamboa fought Devin Haney and Tank Davis. Bro, it sounds like Gamboa that guy to me. Gamboa the one fighting everybody. Shoot, y'all need to be moving like Gamboa. Gamboa, that guy to me. This man fought Crawford, Tank, Devin Haney, and Esau Cruz. And guess who the only one that got a knockout out of all them fights? Esau Cruz. How? Okay. Yeah, like I was saying, you fought an old Gamboa. And basically, gonna sit up here and say, we need to wait on... Eastside Cruz at 130 for what, bro? He's not royalty at 135. I'm not finna have y'all guys disrespect the uh Devin Haney. Then protect guys like uh Eastside Cruz and all those guys. I'm not gonna say nothing about Loma Chico. Cause Loma Chico got more uh has had better fights than most of you guys. So I'm not gonna disrespect him. He done fought TFA Morgan Gamboses, uh Haney. Even though I wanted to see it sooner. He fought him. So I'm not finna sit up here and Go back and forth about that. At 135, if the fight's not bigger than what Devin Haney put on, uh, Tank put on, or either at that level or as far as trying to get to that level, dudes ain't even trying to get to that level. They trying to find out the big time American to fight so I can go get a payday. Like, it's getting weak now. It's so lame. It's lame. It's like build your own legacy. Build your own. That's why I'm so mad at people like Canelo. You get an opportunity with Floyd at 23 years old. Floyd Mayweather. Canelo think he on Floyd Mayweather level. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Canelo is on Floyd Mayweather level. Come on, y'all. Come on now. Floyd gave this man an opportunity when he was 20, what, 23? And what is he doing with it? Oh, I'm going to fight Mungia. Mungia? Bro, you got Terrence Crawford out here. You got Benavidez. You got Andre. All these other guys. You got the Bivol rematch you got. Um, You got Jamal Charlo. Mungia? That's your... That's your that's your Mayweather versus Canelo? It's Munguia versus Canelo? That's who you passing the torch down to? Munguia. 
Okay. But we're going to get mad at the other guys. That 135 division is terrible right now. You know what I knew it was terrible? When guys was waiting on Frank Martin to do something. When they were like, man, Frank Martin need to go ahead and fight somebody. And what? Frank Martin need to fight somebody? He just got in the picture. What about Esau Cruz? I'm not finna have him wait on Tank. He don't fight Tank next. If Esau Cruz don't fight Tank next, it's gonna be a problem for me. Because he's been waiting this whole time. Turned down mandatories. Uh, I think him and Ryan was supposed to fight at one point. Uh, I think uh, him and Shakur were supposed to fight, if I'm not mistaken. One of them, man, some of them guys. It was so many mandatories that have been turned down lately. Guys should be kicked out of the uh, rankings for stuff they've been doing lately. Especially, uh, but, you know, when Canelo starts these things and you get to pick your opponents and you can go around in rankings and you don't get dropped and certain things like that, it's kind of weird because some guys, they'll win, they'll lose one fight and get dropped out of the top ten. But then other guys, they'll lose two fights and be still in the top ten. You'll be like, what? Like Anthony Joshua. These sanctioning bodies are disgusting, man. Seriously, uh, these sanctioning bodies are disgusting. Then you got people in the boxing world, because Eddie Hearn can yell loud and talk all day. He trying to make it seem like Anthony Joshua was a bigger attraction than Wilder is. Man, come on, man. That's what 135 division is turning into, bro. What are y'all going to do down there? It's not really much action. If you take if you take uh Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney out of the picture, what has 135 done lately? Honestly. Like Cambosas and TFA my fight? That wasn't even a big fight to y'all. It was a big fight to me because I, I like Cambosas. But uh, y'all didn't, uh, that wasn't a big fight to y'all. I'm just saying. The TFMO and Loma Chico, that was a big fight. It wasn't a pay per view fight or something. But it was a big fight at the time for me, so yeah, that was. But look how long ago that was. Wow. We're hanging our head on that. At 135. That division is becoming sad, man. That division is really becoming when you, when you got guys waiting on when you got Isak Cruz waiting on big fights and Lomachenko at 135 and without a belt, they're waiting on big time fights and stuff like that. That's sad, bro. Which at the same time you got the same kind of fan, they'll say, Terrence Crawford need to prove himself. Bro, tell Isak Cruz to prove himself. Oh, he beat Gamble. Nah, I don't know. Terry Crawford did that like a hundred years ago. Do something else. Do something else. Like Tank really hurt me, hurt fight him, man. I don't, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that, man. I don't want to see this guy lingering around no more. It's too many guys at one thirty five. One thirty five got like fifty guys at the weight class that can be fighting each other right now. Fifty guys, guaranteed. I've looked at it. I looked at it already. If you know boxing, you know boxing. It's 50 guys that can fight each other right now at 135. And then 140 ain't going to be no easier. 140 finna be away. So you're going to see a lot of guys, they're going to be on their best, best, best weight regiment you ever seen in their life. Because 140 finna be a dog fight in a minute. That's why Regis Progray looking around like saying the same thing Lomachenko is heavyweight? Heavyweight? Is it just heavyweight? He looking at the same thing. He looking at the same thing uh, with uh, Devin Haney. Because Devin Haney look huge. What you got to think about it, he's still growing. As far as his body maturing and stuff like that. Regis Progress has got uh, uh, more muscle in the last couple of years. So, he know what time it is. He just didn't expect him to be that big. But, man, come on, man. He didn't say that when he was in the ring with Lomachenko. See, when Devin was in the ring with Lomachenko, everybody was like, oh, I watched Devin. Oh, I watched him. Now, when all all of uh, coming out, everything coming out to watch, now it's, well, you know, he's he's big. And, you know, I don't know what weight class he's coming from. And he looks like he's 160. It's crazy, man. Crazy. That that division is going to go down, though. I'll give it because, I'm going to be real, i give it two years, but that division won't even be. Nothing to even look at no more. They won't. This next year is going to tell a lot about 135 division.
But I want to see where is Lomachenko and Isak Cruz, though. Like, we just gonna we just going to hide them. And then you got to realize Tank didn't have two big fights this year. Tank ain't got to do nothing. In my eyes, he ain't got to do nothing this year. But guys would be like, when in Tank next fight? Oh, my God. Go learn another boxer, bro. Why does he, why does he got to fight there? It's four months. Go learn somebody else, man. Canelo fight twice a year. Tank fought twice twice this year already. He probably going to fight two more times next year before Canelo even come up for his first fight. Leave him alone, man. Let him do what he need to do. You got people like Isak Cruz waiting around like, I'm trying to get another Tank fight. Man. All right, man. This is what boxing has come down to. But that's all I got. Like and subscribe.